Hello, good evening, boys and girls. And today is a special day. So, everybody, not everybody, but Juju especially, tends to think that knowing any little stupid thing about prison Like, people are interested. Okay, so. Anyway, so in honor of that, I am wearing a habit shirt that kind of resembles a Missouri State Prison fucking uniform. Anyway, rule number one. I don't give a fuck how tough and stupid you think you are. Have good hygiene. Brush your teeth every before you fucking talk to anybody. Brush your teeth and make sure you wash your ass every fucking day when you in you know when you can like if you're in the hole that's a whole different story and then you motherfuckers are just suffering together rule number two actually let's go back to rule number one it's probably my fuck had to have been my first week in there i'll never forget fucking called breakfast at five something in the morning you know uh jeffrey don't wake up at that fucking hour i'm 18 years old and of course the fucking the black dude that's been down 30 some odd fucking years that fucking is a known booty bandit. He's the one that's gonna fucking has to say something, right? He's the, the, the kind of guy that makes you wish you were in your 30s in there, because, yeah. Anyway, what uh, I, I remember a fucking, because, I mean, you know, you can tell when somebody just jumps out of bed and does something, you'd be all fucking like, oh, this motherfucker's in the background talking to a little a whole little group of our, us r and and shit and he's like uh i know i didn't know we had firemen around here fire and kept, he kept calling us firemen and i was you know and then it dawned and then it dawned on me like oh shit he's talking about fucking because you know where's the fire go fucking you know because it is anyway you get your ass kicked fucking you don't wash your ass and brush your teeth and shit uh rule number two let's see here what's rule number two See, I'm not good at this because Jeffrey, honestly, I fucking bro, I I was, I, I laid, I laid my ass low fucking for the first mm, two years maybe, but there's a line that gets crossed, and it's a sad line because if that line hadn't had, uh, had that line never been crossed, I'm I'm sure that I could have been, wow, I I would have been so fucking terrified of ever going back there. Uh, I would have fucking straightened my life out and got a career. I mean, shit. But then there's a line that gets crossed. It's called uh, adapt adaptation. Once it stops becoming fucking a punishment, and it's just kind of like, you know, you can it, it, you can do it standing on your head, and you make a lot, ton of friends, and it's just kind of you guys start making your own little ways of having a lot of fun and shit in there. Uh, yeah, that's that's when you're in trouble. And bear in mind, if you go in there at a young age. Uh, just think how fucking, uh, when you're 18 years old, just everybody think back to when you were fucking 18. Now imagine somebody told you that you're not getting out of prison until you're 23. I know what that sounds, that doesn't sound like shit fucking when you're, uh, you know, when you're in your t fucking late 20s, 30s, shit like that. But God, remember how fucking slow time went back then? Oh my God. Gave me ulcerative colitis. Yes, it did. But, uh, anyway, I forgot what I was talking about. Anyway, yeah, you're supposed to not gamble, but I gambled. You're supposed to not do drugs. I did drugs. You're supposed to, I mean, I did anything. Once I broke that that line, that barrier, there was, uh, I was, I was doing anything and everything. And what's beautiful is, there's, I mean, it's, fuck, it's, I'm going on like 20 years. So, <laughs> you know. I can even tell you where the crack pipes are at that I fucking hid. <laughs> Shit. Uh, we got so many crack pipes going on one time that fucking, uh, there was a, ra you know, the racks in the closets? Those metal racks, I don't know, they are metal racks that hung something. Uh, there was a little, you know, it was like aluminum, and there was, it was hollow behind it. Me and my buddy, me and my buddy from, since, from childhood, we was, we would, always take a fucking antenna break off the antenna fucking you know you guys know how to do it but then we'd be pushing it behind there 
and uh, we got so fucking out of whack, all of a sudden you heard, tink! Fucking, we pushed it all, we pushed, there were so many credit cards lined up in a row, we, we, they started falling out on the other side and shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway. So yeah. Here in, on the next episode, I'm going to teach people how to make, everybody, er, you know, everybody can show you how to make a tattoo gun. Everybody can show you how to do this. Uh, but I'm going to show you a vital important shit that you might need to fucking know how to make, such as your Cadillac. Okay? Yeah. So you can get, see if you ever end up in a bad situation, if you're a POW somewhere, 